Hey, love bugs, it's Roz. I'm back at you one more again. I hope everybody is doing blessed. I'm doing blessed and highly favored, and I definitely hope the same for you. And if this is your first time coming to my channel, much love to you and welcome. And to my returning subs, my my grown extended family thank you so much for the love and support you send me each and every day the beautiful comments you drop you know and you just conversing with other you know youtubers or other youtube members and you know just spreading the love and positivity allowing yourself to heal so we can be to the best version of ourselves so with that being said much love to all namaste love and blessings love and light and many blessings are definitely coming your way and if you've been watching my videos for a while and have not already go ahead and like and subscribe even hit that notification bell so you know when i'm about to upload my next video and if you feel like you're comfortable enough go ahead and drop me a line or two i love a chance to get to know you as much as you're getting to know me or even if it's you know you drop in a line and tell me about the positive feedback or the content of my video or you're just opening up and telling me about your empathic gift that has been placed upon you. And if you feel like the video has just gave you some good vibes and just gave you a good peace of mind or just gave you some clear understanding, and you feel like a friend or, you know, a family member needs to hear it, go ahead and pass it on. Or give me a thumbs up and like and share on your social media favorites. Or, you know, just give me a thumbs up. <laughs> but anyways, I hope you're able to resonate with my video today. And, you know, thank you so much for stopping by my channel. And this beautiful, peaceful music. Oh my gosh, it is so relaxing. I've been like meditating to it for a few minutes right before I did my video, like when I do my uh, chanting prayer. Um, it's called Ricky Sleep, Rain Sounds, Ricky Music, Healing Music, Balancing, med balancing Meditation Music. And I will post that link in the description box below. And my video today is Heyoka's, oh, Twin Flame 101, when Heyoka's mask fall off when the mask all fall off yes it's just like i was you know deep in thought today i was talking to my you know my one of my close friends and you know just basically healing from a lot of things because um hold on let me take a pause for the cause y'all my bad y'all i don't want to have that blasting all up in your ear like that but um yeah, I was up here talking to my um, one of my friend, my friends, and we were just up here talking, and I was watching Vampire Diaries. That's what it was, and it was just like watching that. It's like like I tell y'all when I watch, I'm a movie person. It's just like that's how I relieve my stress. If I'm not singing, dancing, exercising, or making my videos, you know, or light working, helping people out, or working, you know, that's what I do. You know, me and my daughter spends time with it, and she always loves to watch horror movies. I try to sneak in, you know, like a comedy or something like that. I'm like, hey, let's stay off. <laughs> we ain't got to be watching horror movies all the time, but that's our thing. But um, I was really relating to it. I can really relate to, like, Bonnie Bennett and, you know, Elena, because it was just a lot of things that, you know, they were both going through that I was also going through, you know. Her, you know, one of her great descendants was, uh, had a kid out of wedlock at a very young age, and the baby, you know, basically the mom was disgraced and it had to have the baby take away, taken away, and, you know, she never knew she was adopted and found out the person she thought was her uncle end up being her dad the whole time, so it's just, I'm just taking L's all type of ways, and I'm just like, you know, I'm sitting up here just bawling and bawling and seeing Bonnie go through things with her being a Wiccan and seeing all this. It was like seeing a fellow sister just getting hurt. So that was just a lot, you know, with you being an empath. Whether or not, I don't even think it's just with movies. It's like when you just see these per this person can act that well and make an impact in your life on how you perceive this character, it can really mess with you in a certain way, you know, what, whatever kind of movie is, you know, that's just my opinion, I don't know if you feel that way about it, but it was like, things are placed in our lives, you know, um, that we were supposed to see, like, it's supposed to bring out a message, because it was like, I'm on my third season already, and I had to take a break from that, because it was like, showing me too much of my life, of what was going on, that I'm trying to heal from, you know, her parents said, you know, all her parents had died, except, you know, I still got my adopted father left, and his wife, but having to know that basically my whole family has died off, 
but the people that actually knew the truth is no longer here to speak it and I have to be the one that does that so it's like I said you know if you've been rocking with me on my channel for a while you know I've said at the beginning of the year since last year you know this is the year the, the, the masks start coming off you know it's like karma is not she's not picky you know the rich can get it the public officials can get it the popes and the priests is catching it you know nobody karma is just hitting everybody anybody that has tried to do things and got you know it, it's always been covered up people put a mask on on they what they want you to see you know and it's just with me about mine I speak my truth and a lot of people don't understand my truth a lot of people don't believe my truth and that's fine you know um, there's a lot of people that you know there's that has been around my father and has seen him in concert and just know what kind of energy he brings off and they say I emulate the same thing and which is a very beautiful thing because I feel like our relationship is so different you know, I, you, it was never a true blessing. I haven't had that physical contact since I was here. You know, I just, you know, I was just born. And, but I knew our separation was for a positive purpose. It's like our pain had to push out so much love that it had to touch people in certain ways that a lot of average people wouldn't probably um, understand not like we're above anybody but we are a certain particular type of people you know we're empathic so it's like when you know you you can resonate with people's energy it's a beautiful feeling and it's like I, I keep it real with y'all you know I, this is my mask coming off I've been hurt you know, I've been misled. I, my life has been altered and rearranged to somebody else's liking. You know, I, I had to, you know, I have to constantly get over the fact is, you know, I feel like my life is not surreal. I mean, there's times I can look at my dad and all I see is me, you know, and it's a very hurtful feeling because it's like I don't get that closure. You know, I, I grieve every day. But it doesn't seem, you know, it, it seems like I'm healing, but it's hard to heal when you really don't have closure. I'm having to heal without that closure. So it's like my pain, I learned to heal from it. And it's like I'm a teacher as, as well as a student. You know, I learn off of y'all just like you learn off of me. And it's like when you can actually take your mask off and say the hell with it. You know, yes, you've been hurt by these things, but I said I, I can't allow my family, you know, I don't even have contact with them, but just for me to be angry with them, this still gives them power. And I said, you know, I, when I have so many beautiful blessings coming my way, I don't have time to be mad at these people because I feel like, you know what, I'm telling my truth. You know, I'm out here saying, you know, yes, I am Prince's daughter. I, my family used me for money, you know, and kept me away from my father as my father broke his neck to try to get towards me so he can reunite me with my mom and for me to be with the rest of my family. They kept me away from money. I mean, there's days I, I used to cry and say, this is not real. My family did not do this to me, you know, but they did. They truly did. And that's their mask. They want to choose to keep, you know, letting people see them the way they want to see them. You know how they say, you know, when people can't control you, they'll control how people see you. You know, my name's got ran, ran in the mud by my closest friends that I never thought would turn their back on me. You know, I had family, you know, my, my, my family sit up here and had people look at me in a certain type of way because of how they wanted people to see me but this is my truth you know yes I danced before for years to try to hustle up money to make sure my kids didn't have to suffer for anything no that's not something I'm proud of but that's what I did you know yes I was addicted to pain medicine as well and almost OD'd a few times because of all the pain that I went through that I didn't want to heal from you know, but I'm here to say, I, you know, I, I stopped cold turkey. 
yeah, I, you know, I struggle with my sobriety with marijuana, but it's like when you're healing from things and you can recognize that you are an addict out of things, I use my stuff for escape. You know, it wasn't no hardcore drugs or whatever, but, you know, this is my mask is coming off. I have no reason to sit up here and lie to anybody about it because, shoot, it's all going to be out anyways. I'm just taking my mask off in front of y'all and telling you myself, so you don't have to go. I'm telling you right here. You know, it's just like if you see a, you know, a mug shot, at least you say, you know what, Rosalind told us about this. Yeah, I did. Everybody got a past. I said nobody is God. I can't judge you just like you can't judge me. It's just the fact is all my my negative things that I went through, I'm using it as a, a reflection of a positive aspect. It's like, yes, I've had my family lie to people out there, keep the will that my dad has put in my name so they make sure me and my children don't have it. But that's okay because what's for me will be for me, you know, will be for my children, you know. And it's like, I, I can't allow my family to keep hurting me. I can't allow them to keep stealing my joy or trying to take my power away just because they want people to see me in a certain type of way. This is me. They wanted me to be ashamed because I've been locked up before for writing bad checks. Yes, I had to do what I had to do. You know, when you were trying to make a dollar out of 15 cents, you're trying to raise children the best way you know how because you had to raise yourself. You know, my mom did what she had to do, and she, she took care of me the best way she knew how. But my mom was going through a lot of mental and emotional abuse from my father because my mom stood up for me and wanted me to know my family. She felt like that was extra love. But since he didn't want her to do that, he broke her down. He broke me down to the point where they wanted me to kill myself. That's how deep it goes. But I said I wasn't going to allow them to win. I wasn't going to allow anybody to beat me. And the worst thing I can do is sit up here and still be mad at people for something, I mean, I cannot change. It's like being mad at them is not going to bring my father back to me. It won't. But it might change how people might look at things you know but it's a blessing when I can actually sit here and say all these masks are gone this is me either you like it you love it or just go about your business it doesn't matter to me because it's not at the end of the day this is still going to be me it's still not going to change it's still going to be the same so it's just like um, this is my better version of myself this is me and my higher self allowing my mask to come off right in front of the screen and allowing people to know me for me is just knowing okay the things that I've done in my past yeah I've been locked up before yeah you know I almost lost my house you know I almost lost cars you know but these things happen this is life we all go through it it's just a lot of people is just not gonna put that dirt on front street they'll try to make it, everything seem like it's picture perfect but that's what people do that's what you do when you want to wear a mask. You you try to wear a mask when you, you are hurting inside and want everybody to think that you're okay. I don't have perfect days every day. There, there, there's days I'm happy. You know, I go out and tell people, don't give up. Because I'm not going to give up. I might take a break and y'all know I'll take a break. But I'm not going to quit. You might see me struggle, but I'm not going to quit. I've had people that I went out my way to help, and they came right back at me and stabbed me in my back. But you know what? I still send them blessings because that had to be a personal problem. That wasn't nothing that had nothing to do with me. That's something to do with them. They ain't had nothing to do with me. You know, I can't allow people to have keys to my life or keys to my happiness or keys to the power. No, I, those are all my things. <laughs> those are things I'm taking back. So if you go going through that same thing, take your power back. Don't allow the people that hurt you still have that power of you. Don't be mad at them. I mean, they could have did the worst thing. I'm telling you what my family did to me. And I send them much love and blessing. Much love and blessing. Well, I let the universe handle stuff like that. I'm not going to take mercy into my own hands when people, you know, paint 
dirty pictures about people. You know, I don't want people being mad at them. They had, they have, obviously, they don't have their reasons to do what they had to do. I can't explain that. I'm just talking about me. <laughs> I can be beneficial and say what my agenda was. My true agenda is telling y'all, this is what I went through. This is what I'm overcoming. And this is what I'm surviving. So whatever you're going through, know you are surviving. I mean, there will be days that feel like hell. You don't want to get up anymore. Hell, you don't even want to feel this pain no more. Nobody don't want to feel pain. That's why you smoke weed all the time. I didn't want to feel nothing because that was my escape. Going through this, knowing my family did this was something I was not wanting to prepare myself to look at. But this is something I had to deal with. And you, you're going to have to deal with yours too. Take the mask off. When the mask come off, it's still good. And I'm sitting up here telling y'all, and I know a thousand folks be like, girl, you better come look at this. Rob's going to drop tea all over herself. But that's just me being me. I keep it 250. A lot of people don't like that. But that's, I mean, when you show your true you, you, I mean, shoot, I'm talking about my own self. What are you going to say about me? I ain't, I'm not saying about myself. At least I'm, you know, I'm being real about it. But, you know, I'm just in my spirit and just letting y'all know when a mask come off, you will feel good. This is when you know you're in your higher self and your better moment. You're not worrying about what people think about you or how they're going to betray you. Because the right people is going to come along. They're not going to worry about your past. They're going to see what positive things you bring into the table to try to change the future. That's, that's what's important. Don't worry about nobody's past because everybody got one. What I'm worried about is what you're doing right now. What are you bringing to the table that is going to positively affect me in a good way? That's what I worry about. So I hope you were able to resonate with this. I hope you were able to get something out of this message. I was all up in my spirit. So mm, I had to go ahead and spill the tea. So I hope y'all had a blessed week. We're in the middle of the week. You know, send out as much love and light and positivity as you possibly can. And like and subscribe. Even hit that notification bell so you know when I'm about to upload my next video. Drop me a line. I love a chance to get to know you as much as you get to know me. And, you know, just give me a thumbs up, like, and even share and, and on your social media pages. And I'll see you on my next video. Know that you are blessed. Know you are highly favored and you are truly loved. And know there is always somebody out there praying for your better days. And I'll see you on my next video. Peace. And be well.